shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now, I'm not quiet about the fact if you watch back other pieces of content where I've been talking about wallets, I'm very vocal about the fact that I really appreciate a minimal style wallet. Having those really old fashioned, bulky, thick wallets that if you have it in your back pocket, you need to just I don't know, have your back adjusted every six months through a chiropractor. They're, they're just, they're just huge, massive. And, you know, about 10 years ago, I moved over to a, a minimalist style wallet. Uh, and in that last decade or so, I've, I found that sweet spot for me. And the sweet spot um, is the classic traditional card holder or card slip. So what we're going to look at today is some card slips from six of my favorite manufacturers. Uh, some of which you'll have seen before, some uh, are hopefully possibly new to you. Um, a lot of them are made from beautiful, traditional, handmade leather, but there's also a few ones in there that, you know, book the trend slightly to show where these card holders are possibly heading. Uh, in the way that they're created and the materials that they're used. So what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around as usual while I'm doing that. If you liked this content at any point, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. That would be absolutely amazing. But for now, let's turn the camera around so we can take a closer look. Okay, so there's my dummy cards for now. I've got eight dummy cards so you can see exactly uh, how these fit in now. The way that I'm going to show these off isn't in any sort of particular order, apart from maybe the last two, but that's mainly more to do with that the, they're just slightly different to the others. Um, but it's it's the one thing that I do like about these card holders is that, that often it's just the subtlety of what makes them different from each other, although still having similar properties, um, that, that kind of gives them their own individual unique character. The only one the that I am doing this one first, however, as this is my this was this was my gateway drug. This was the first um, EDC minimal EDC style wallet that, that I purchased. And this is the Ninja wallet from A Slim of London. In fact, I, I think going back now, it's probably my first wallet review that I did. I mean I do need to double check that, but I'm sure it's the first wallet review that I did. Um, so they use, in fact, I think all of these companies use uh, vegetable tan, whole grain leather, which is the best leather for wallets. Um, but it also makes sure you can see on here. Now I've, I've had this for about 10 years. It, I mean, the, the, the leather itself, the leather itself has gained a patina. You, you'll be able to see here. You can see where, um, the, the leather has formed around the cards, but it's that patina that you get from this type of leather that, you know, again, makes them unique. Um, it comes, in fact, all of these come in several different colors and different tans. Um, but this one is made from a single piece of leather. So it starts here, folds round, although this looks like a separate one, um, it then folds inside. They call this their origami technique. So how I have this, I have my two most used cards in the front. Generally now since lockdown, you, know, you probably hear me talk about this, but um, I have been able to reduce the amount of cards that I use. So I keep I have a piece of paper in there. I'm not even sure what that piece of paper is. It looks like an old receipt. Um, but I have my six cards in the middle there, four cards in the middle there. Um, but you can put in this one, you can put an extra two cards if you choose to. That's the first one and that is the Ninja Wallet uh, from A Slim of London. Next on the list is actually possibly the, uh, well uh, it, not possibly but it definitely is the most recent uh, wallet review that I've done and this is the Talon Wallet from Softy Leather Goods. This again is a fairly traditional but slightly different in the way that this one, so this again, rather than using a single piece of leather, this uses two pieces of leather. Hopefully here and you can see you have this really nice kind of walnut leather and then here on the back you have this darker black leather. So in the way that this works is it, it folds round similarly to this one, whereas as one's folding round, the other one then folds into that. So you can fit 
two, you can fit a card here on the front. This is how I, I certainly have it. I usually keep my ID here on the back. I keep the card that I use the most here um, on the front, or at least I'm, I'm certainly calling that the front. And then on the inside, hopefully you can see if I, uh, if I peel that open like that, because of these additional pieces of leather on the inside, um, you can you can actually have some organization in here. So maybe if you have a certain card that you use for work, a certain card that is a credit or debit card, and then you have some store cards that you just want to keep separate, you can do that. Or maybe you want to put some uh, cash in a different compartment. Um, talking to Softy actually, so I was talking to Russ from Softy the other day, uh, after after I'd released this and as part of the content that I did I said it'd be awesome just to to have maybe these parts if you wanted to have those removed to have an ultra minimalist version and he said you know what I've not put it out oh I might be am I am I letting something out of the bag well I'll check with Russ on this, but hey, if you hear this, then yeah, Russ has allowed me to say this, but there is an ultra minimalist version of this in the works. <laughs> I've just let the cat out of the bag. Definitely going to have to make sure I contact Russ to check that. Um, but this is the Talon wallet from Softy Leather Goods. Absolutely beautiful wallet. I, and I've said this before and I'll say it again. I love the fact that, you know, on the back here, there's, there's, there's no Softy Leather Goods on here. There is just a pure homage to the fact that this is Wicket's and Wicket and Craig leather, and it, it has their stamp on the front, which really just show that you know, um, softy leather goods have the confidence in in the leather that this is that this is made from. Now the next one on the list is one that you you guys have not seen, although some of you might remember, possibly slight, quickly seeing this. So I did my EDC November video a, a, a few weeks back, and at the time I was actually testing both of these out. This is the first one that I've that I've shown, and I just simply haven't got around to showing this yet. But this is this is the first time you'll see it in a piece of content like this. So this is the ultra minimalist wallet from, and again I hope I pronounce this right. I believe it's pronounced Sami. It's spelled Sami, S-A-M-I, um, but I believe it's it's pronounced Sami, who are a Lapland tribe um, from the north of Finland. When when I, when I show this off, there's very well, it's semi kind of tragic and harrowing, but there's a there's a there's an awesome story around how these leather goods started. Now the ultra minimalist is designed so that you can have. Uh, three or four cards in this slot here, uh, or at least the, the large main slot, they fit in. And then if you need to add some cash, or if you need to add a card that you're using the most, this just slips into this pocket. So it, it opens here at the top and here at the bottom, or at least here at the top and here at the side. Um, but there's a single piece of stitching just down this right hand side, or left, depending on which way that you're looking at it. Um, what that does is when, when you push this into the corner there, it just holds it. It's just friction that's holding it in. Um, but in the ooh, two months that I've been testing this, it, it's never come out. I've never put my hand in my wallet and find that this is, you know, it, it's come loose. It does, it does a really, really good job of doing that. And this again is another wallet that's just made from a single piece of leather. Um, so hopefully if you can see there, you can see that this flap goes around there and then there is another bit that stitches it all together there as well. One of the interesting things that certainly attracted me to this one and was one of the reasons that I contacted Sawmill Leather um, is, this, is this back section. So a lot of the other wallets, if you want to get something out of here, you, you have to just pinch it slightly and to, to, to be able to pull that out. But having the ability to be able to thumb through your cards so that you can find the one that you want, especially when it is in um, a portrait um, setup like this, it's, it's actually the easiest and most ergonomic um, ways that you can do this, which when we have a look at this wallet uses a similar way to, for you to be able to get your cards. This, this is a great idea. I certainly wouldn't want to, you know, urge other people, other companies to, to kind of copy this, but, you know, this is, this is a very, very, very good idea. So um, I think if you're after ultra minimalist, then you can certainly get that uh, with the ultra minimalist. <laughs> I mean, you know, it does, it does what it says on the tin uh, wallet from Sarme Leather. Uh, the next leather wallet that we have 
um, is, oh, let's get that in, in the middle. It, this is the Foxlow um, cord holder from 1095 Leather. Now, 1095 uh, Supply Company um, are within a stone's throw of the Kingdom of the Moorlands, and I've been a huge fan of theirs on Instagram for a long time, and I just I, I, I reached out to them and said I'd love to help to showcase the leather goods that you make, and they make some absolutely amazing leather goods. Out of all of these, I mean, I've owned this, I've owned the um, the, the Ninja the longest, but the Fox Low, um, it's just patinaed beautifully. I've had this now, I'm trying to think, I think I've had this now for about six or seven months, and the patina that's happened on this in such a short time, again, is just down to the, the quality of the leather that this is that this is made from. Now, all of the other ones, um, especially these two, these have been made from a single piece of leather. This has been made from two pieces of leather that's been then wrapped around each other in a, in a kind of uh, double helix kind of effect. This one, again, is made from two pieces of leather. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that there is a, a more of a walnut tan here, and then there is a darker tan here at the back. So this is a, a piece of leather that is single folded, and then there is another piece of leather that is single folded around that as well. How I have been using this, I have the card that I use the most, I have my ID card at the back. And again, this can hold between six to eight cards, and I've been having an additional four cards in the middle there. Um, that's, that's certainly how I've been carrying Mr. Lego P there for a second. This is a beautiful, in fact, I mean, I'm certainly not singling this out for being a beautiful wallet. They are all beautiful wallets. But I definitely have to say that the patina that's come on the 1095 Foxlow wallet has, it's, it's, a, it's a stunning wallet to, uh, to, to certainly own. So I'll just pull these out. Now, as I say, so, so these aren't in any particular um, preference of order, but really I just wanted to show these last two off mainly because this is a similar card holder wallet. Now this holds up to eight cards, um, but this one instead, this is made, sorry, let's start again. This is the Atenu version two wallet from Atenuo. Um, these are a company, this is a company here in the UK, um, and I, I, I saw this, actually it started off from a, from a key holder that I worked with them on. Um, or at least working with some content on, and they, they said, you know, would you would you like to have a look at my wallet? I was like, yep, yeah, I certainly would love to. Uh, so they sent this my way, and I was actually blown away with this. So I've I've reviewed quite a few of these um, hard body um, aluminium style wallets, and this is without a doubt the pick of the crop for all of those. So it works with four cards you can have here on the front and then on the reverse you can have an additional four cards. And I, hopefully if you remember from that previous wallet, you, you have this thumb slot that when you're using this because it's used in a portrait, uh, sorry, a, yeah it is, sorry, a portrait layout like this, it's very easy to be able to get your cards out, flip them over and, and get your cards out that way. Now the way that I had it, so I had three cards on each side, the card on well, you know, any side, because both sides are, are, are identical, then on the outside I would have my driving license and uh, an ID, and then on the flip side I would have my um, the, the card that I use the most. But this is, I mean, it's stunning, it's elegant, it's incredibly tough. Um, it, it's, it's, you know, it's a perfect example of absolutely amazing British engineering, and it's certainly why um, as far as all of those hard style wallets, I, I know the Ridge is incredibly popular wallet at the moment, but I'd certainly put this up there and past the Ridge just on how easy it is to use. Um, and if anything, of all of the hard wallets that I've tested, this one is bomber when it comes to the shake test. You just can't shake things out of here. So on the inside, when you put them in, there is a, a, a small lip in there. So when you're pushing it in, you feel just a little bit of tension. And then when it goes in, you, you get like a little positive click. If I bring this up, if you can hear that there. Um, and yeah, you know, you, you just you just simply can't shake them out of this. I'm not going to do it now, mainly because I've got some content. If you want to watch that, that would, that would be absolutely amazing. So yes, this is the Atenuo Wallet version 2. 
uh, from a 10 UL. Hopefully I can get that in the in the light nicely. <laughs> um, so that one, and then last, but again, you know, not least, this is the Molecule wallet from Pioneer Carry. Now, all of the wallets that we've, or at least all of the card holders that we've looked at so far, have all been um, portrait wallets. Now this is the first one, which again is a really traditional card holding wallet, other than the fact that it just books that tradition and goes for a landscape layout, um, and it uses a, a completely different fiber. Now, um, Pioneer Carry have really led the way for me. You know, I'm sure there may be other companies out there doing this, but for me, if you're out there trying to find something that is lighter, that is tougher, and that will wear less than leather, but still has a nice supple feel to it, so that when this is in your pocket, it feels just like a leather wallet. I would hands down every single time say you need to check out Pioneer Carry. Um, so the way, again, you know, I did this in one slot, I have the card that I use the most. On the rear, I have my ID, um, and then on the inside, any sort of cash or additional cards, just have on the inside there like that. Um, this, it's, it's, a, it's a strange material, so it use, they use, if any of you know Dyneema, where you're looking at, I forget what it's called, ultra high weight molecular um, material thread, da -da, I forget. Um, but they use this type of material, so you can certainly, I definitely recommend that you look on the website, but it's, it's between five to ten times more stronger than steel if you, if you made a thread from that steel. Um, it's waterproof, water just, you know, it just completely beads off it. It's, yeah, absolutely amazing material. Let's just take those out for a second and hopefully, I'll, you know, I'll just bring all of these back in. Um, the main reason I'll, I'll show it this way is, is just as I mentioned at the beginning, you know, as far as size is concerned, they're all much pretty, the, the, the same size. Where you have a wallet then that has stitch marks all the way around, you'll find that that one is just slightly larger. So the Pioneer, uh, sorry, the, uh, the molecule from Pioneer Carry is, is possibly the largest. Um, but as I say, so that, that has uh, stitching on the top, middle and bottom. Then you have the Ninja and the Foxlow wallet, which are pretty much pound for pound the same size of each other, but just slightly shorter uh, than the Molecule. Then we have, um, actually, sorry, let's put that in order there. So then we have, um, then we have the Talon wallet, followed by, quickly on top, we then have the Ultra Minimalist. Uh, and, and as this doesn't have any stitching, the Atenu wallet, um, sits proudly on the top there, but really if you're looking for the difference in size between the Atenuo wallet version 2 on the top and the Molecule wallet on the bottom It's probably I mean we're talking about millimeters rather than anything else Because when you have a card on top there like that you can see that they are all pretty much the size of a, of a standard credit or debit card Now I definitely say that there's possibly one for everybody here. Whether you prefer something that's ultra minimalist, whether you prefer something that you can fit quite a few more cards in there, and maybe even have some additional organization in there, whether you're just kind of that middle of the road as far as what you need from a wallet, or whether you know, you're wanting to step out of the boundaries of the traditional style card holder, and maybe try some new materials. There's plenty here, I'd say, for any wallet fan um, to, to be able to choose from. Uh, now, I'd like to say thank you to, to all of the companies that have sent these my way. You know, we've, we've talked about those uh, in, the mater in the content material. Sorry, I thought I was at work then for a second. Uh, in the content just so, all of their links will be in the description below so that you can check out each and every one of those. I'll try and make sure I can find their social media feeds as well as links to uh, their sites. So if you do maybe want to pick these up or maybe pick them up for a family member for Christmas, then you know they are there below. Um, before I finish, um, yesterday, well I suppose it's when, when, when you're watching this, um, I recently started two giveaways there was one on Instagram, one here on YouTube. So on Instagram, if you follow me, you need to look for 
this picture. When you see that, it will give you details on how to enter the giveaway on Instagram. Here on YouTube, if you go back through my previous videos and find this thumbnail in the description there, that will give you information on how you can enter um, that as well. If you're watching this before Christmas Eve 2021, then you can still enter. Um, and it's, it's just a way of me being able to give back to you guys to say thank you because of a few milestones that I've hit. Also, I'm trying a new, I'm trying a new um, light. Do, 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 you, do you think this is better or worse? I, I don't know. Just trying to work out if it helps you to see my beautiful face. Um, yeah, <laughs> moving on from that one quickly. Um, all of my social media links will be in the description below as well. The usual YouTube thing, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. That would be amazing. It helps out with my channel. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay UDC.